What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sonico Sushinan and you guessed it by the title of the anime that we're going to be reviewing another anime and this anime is called Miss Take, oh my gosh, Miss Caretaker of um, Sona Araha, Sona Araha, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I watched it on this um, Kiss anime app that's now turned into Anime HD, so if you go to Google Play Store and try to look for it, you actually need to type in Anime HD, or you could just simply type in Kiss Anime, and you need to look for um, an icon that, sh that says Anime HD, and that's the one that you need if you want to, if you, if you want to order to watch this anime. Yeah, it took me, it took me, it took me a good, a good amount of time to find apps to watch certain anime. I finally found the same, a this app to find Seven Deadly Sins, even though it doesn't show the exact name that I type in, it's another name, but back on topic. So, this anime, this anime is, is really, it was not really interesting, it's just something that I picked up on a long time ago when I watched it from different random anime channels of like funny moments and everything and this was quite one of them and I really wanted to watch it like I really didn't have anything else to watch watch until I asked my friends and more of my other friends of anime to watch and then yeah 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 so yeah I still have more of a list to go because I still have Jojo that I'm promising my friend to watch so watch it so yeah so I never got the um, time to actually fi find it until now to watch it. So yeah, it's a 12 episode anime with a run time down of uh, tw 24 minutes of each. So it was really not that bad. So what the summary is that the Shinar also no Kashibi, I cannot pr pronounce this correctly. And Shini a Aki is, a cons is constantly being treated like a girl due, his fem due to his femini feminist feminist look looks so he decided to move to Tokyo to attend a middle school in an attempt to change himself however he awaits him in his new home uh the uh, the Sonoro Sono Araha is the kind-hearted caretaker Sono Araha Akia along with the three female members of e Aki's new man I can't talk right now Aki's new middle school students council uh, Yazu, Sumri, and Yuri. So yeah, I can't say their first name, so I'm just going by their last names. But um, yeah. So when he moved, yeah, because of his feminist look, which is really funny. Like the poor guy. I I actually didn't read what this was about until he until the first episode that you got clarification that he's an actual guy. He's just. Just, just a boy, not a girl. Oh my way! Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's been he's been constantly getting a little bit teased of his looks, but mainly just being a little kid. He run he through throughout this. He goes through some situations. By one, he meets the caretaker's sister, which is really funny and really interesting. Of how he um interacts well that and he has a big crush on the caretaker like it's, it's like blatantly obvious it's just like trying to tell a middle school boy that if he has a crush on some girl it's just just like dead dead obvious but um uh, yeah he wants to become more manly and to not make himself so useless to the caretaker and have and have her to have him to be treated as a man and now uh, I, I i can relate to that not really. I'm just just a skinny kid. Yeah. So yeah, he he meets the caretaker's sister, which is really hilarious. I I'll, by far. Um, what else? He um the caretaker's sister's friends actually teases um Aki a lot. Like you get to see him a lot. I think maybe it's like the fifth, sixth episode maybe that you get to meet his sister and then the caretaker's sister's friends. It was it's just blatantly hilarious and cute how Aki is just taking the whole thing he's just taking it like a champ like even though he's he's getting constantly teased and everything it's just really hilarious of how he wrecks all through the whole mess and everything and yeah it goes by through se seasonal stuff so like I think there is one where he ups all the caretaker's friend with the festival I think it's like celebrating in Germany where they all like eat food and get drunk together something like that he helps out and then the yeah in um 
the caretaker's friend is the same lady in the first episode that gives him directions um, where the corridors are or where the Sonorajo's place is. So he lives there with the caretaker and then the three girls of the student um, council of his middle school. So yeah, and when he helped her, um, he, he had to wear, uh, what was it, like, uh, a maid's outfit because she mistakes him. Like, everybody mistakes him as a girl because of his look. And that's the whole reason why he went to Japan in the first place. So I would recommend giving this anime a shot. It's really not the bad, I promise you. And yes, it has Louis moments, so you can't go... Nothing wrong with that, but without any enemy, without having moments like those. And he, and how he, um, handles situations like those, it's just really priceless. Coming from a young kid himself, it's just, ah, this is really hilarious to watch. But yeah, that's my, um, part take on this anime. I give it an 8 out of 10 because it deserves another season. Because the caretaker, um, so, um, tells Aki that like she'll be here throughout his whole um schooling. So you know he's in middle school, so he has high school next. And I really want them to actually whoever made this, I actually want them to keep going and have him get a bit older and like maybe like in a last episode, like he'll start dating the caretaker. I don't know. It's just it's just not too much romance there there but it is really funny of how he treats the caretaker like oh yeah i want to marry her and everything it's just all that and, and good stuff but yeah that's my part taking this anime i hope you guys enjoy i hope you all have have a wonderful more than day evening whatever the occasion is um if you have watched this anime please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments if not that it's a-okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen i'll see you all in the next one my name is sendagos 239 Signing off. Adios.